Hi Gemini, welcome to your bi-weekly reading. This will be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini. It is a general reading for career, finance, and love. I um, would like to thank all of you who have subscribed, liked, and shared my videos. And to those of you who have booked readings and made donations to my channel, I love doing this for you. Also, I want to point out I had a lot of you ask for extended readings on the Soulmate Twin Flame readings. What I've done is created a new platform. It is the Soulmate Twin Flame Journey. I will each week upload a preview of what to expect for that week and I also have an extended version that you can look at. It is on Vimeo. And it will be, I'm going to try and capture as many different scenarios as I can. Each person is on a different part of their journey. Some are at the beginning, some are in the middle, some are in the end. Um, now, I am having a little difficulty getting the link to show on the actual Soulmate Twin Flame preview on, on the note section. But if you go into the about section, you'll see that at the bottom, the link is there. And if anybody knows how to put that link on the actual video so that they can you you all can just you know click on that link and go right over I sure would appreciate your help and you could send me an email that would be wonderful so what we're looking at for you the seven of wands the two of swords the eight of Pentacles and the page of wands okay in regard to finance, some of you have really had to stand your ground where you're working. It's been a very difficult journey for you. You've been working very, very hard. You're not sure if this is going to pan out or not. Now, I'm hearing this is not a new company. You've been with them for quite a while. And this is um, actually a very difficult choice for you to make. You need to make this decision and it has you trapped and stuck in your thoughts now what i'm getting for this group of you when it comes to your career you have an opportunity coming to you you may be dealing with somebody we have the emperor the knight or the the page of swords the queen of pentacles and the eight of swords so actually what I'm hearing, some of you in this situation where you've had to stand up for yourself and really, really stand up to try and get them to notice you, to move forward, um, you're dealing with a person of, in authority that is very stubborn, very stoic. They don't share. They are not telling you good job. They aren't giving you any of those kudos, you know, that we like to hear that we're doing a good job. But you have an offer coming in. You may have already put your resume out, but for this group, the offer that's coming in is somebody you already know this person, is what I'm hearing for you. And they're going to say, hey, you know, so-and-so company is looking for, okay? And that's, that's what you're going to be get. That's the message that you're going to hear. That's your cue. For others of you, You have an opportunity in the organization that you're actually with to make it work in your advantage where you will be able to be viewed, you will be seen, you're going to stand up, you're going to speak your truth, okay? You are going to communicate. After you make the decision to stand up for yourself, you're going to communicate to the owner, to your supervisor, how hard you've been working and you would like uh, reciprocation on that I mean we need to have everything in balance in our lives and in actually standing up for yourself and speaking your peace they are going to look at you and they will for this group they will give you an opportunity to uh, advance in your career this is a really good opportunity for you that this is resonating with. When you stand up and you stand your ground and you explain, I've been working very, very diligently at my job and you explain everything to them. You have to open up, you have to speak your, your piece. So once you've decided to do this, 
that's when they will look at you and actually consider you for a promotion. It's an opportunity within the company to grow. So it's actually very good. Now, these negative thoughts, the Eight of Swords, this is negative thoughts ruminating in your head. You feel stuck, you feel trapped, and until you make the decision, you will continue to feel trapped. You have to literally get the negativity out of your head and make a decision. Either you stand up for yourself or you move forward with a different opportunity. Now, for those of you in love, You may be dealing with somebody who's very stoic. Yeah, you know, I've been having the Emperor card come up in a lot of my readings. Um, so <laughs> I don't know if right now is all about being stubborn or not. Although I do, I have encountered many who are. Um, you may be dealing with a very stoic person, somebody who's not sharing their feelings. And you're at a, you know you need to make a decision. Do I continue with this relationship or do I not continue? You're being guided to stand up for yourself, stand up for what you believe in, because this is very important to you. You've really, really worked hard because you're trying to create a world with them that is a long-term stable relationship. And it's, it's, it's just eating away at your thoughts. You will feel stuck until you make the decision. Once we make a decision, that's what moves us forward. Now, for some of you in this type of a scenario, you're going to speak your piece to your partner, and then you and your partner will decide how you move forward. For others of you, you may actually have a new offer coming in. So although you stood your ground with your partner, you still have another opportunity available. So you may be um, deciding, do I stay and keep working hard on this relationship where I'm not getting a whole lot back? Now this person, the emperor, is a very grounded person. Overall, they're very successful. They are most likely in an authoritative type of a position. Um, so they can offer a very, very beautiful prosperous future with you should they actually open up and what you're looking at is do I continue to put the work in here do I accept the new offer this offer coming in is a beautiful offer it's about passion it's about creating a relationship with somebody brand new that is uh, more in alignment with you with what you want it's about passion and for others of you you stand up and speaking your truth will make your person actually see you. They're actually going to see you and they themselves may be presenting an offer to you. Now the card that came out with this is the honeymoon card. So this offer coming in may actually be from the person that you're dealing with where they want to spend some time alone. Honeymoon doesn't mean let's get married and then we're going on a honeymoon. Honeymoon is spending time together, um, enjoyable time with your partner. Some of you may actually accept an offer from a brand new person to go on a trip. Others, it may be from the person that you're dealing with. But either which way, once you make the decision, these thoughts, these negative thoughts will be removed. They will dissipate. You make a decision, you stand up for what you want, whether it's to move forward with them or to accept a new offer. But this weekend trip, this, um, well, week or weekend, I'm hearing weekend for the group of you. It's like a three-day weekend trip. is going to be a beautiful brand new beginning for you. Yeah. And for others of you, this has to do with your soulmate relationship. And um, if you would like to look at the soulmate twin flame journey, it's going to resonate with many of you this will be part of that. So I do hope this helps you, Gemini, and you have a wonderful next two weeks. Much love.